The strange and curious Tumbleweed Rovers can be hampered by malfunctioning legs. They can be made more reliable by having the ability to drop out of spec legs. It is already down to half of its original 74 legs, yet it can still travel at nearly top speed, perform a controlled braking maneuver, and track against desired heading. It remains effectively fully functional. At this point, the rover is beginning to develop gaps in coverage and it is noticeably slowing down. If it were to cease moving, these gaps could be problematic. However, it is still able to progress and maintain its heading. If you are interested in these unusual rovers, I suggest hitting up the Tumbleweed playlist in the description below. The rover is nearly at its limits, and I am starting to feel bad for it. But what if we try this on a lower G body? The rover has experienced some bad luck on the randomness of lost legs and is already stuck, but I'm going to bring it back to life by switching drive modes. With just seven legs left, the rover is once again stuck, but a quick tweak of the thresholds in the control code should bring it back to life. That last leg was lost due to direct impact. With only four legs remaining, the rover is in real trouble now. But there is one trick left that I have to try. The probe core contains previously unused reaction wheels, which I can use on a low-G body like this to try and orient the legs into a useful direction. I don't have full control, so I'll need to bring a satellite around for a better signal. With only two legs left, the rover is still capable of forward uphill locomotion. It's time to take it to the bitter end. And, with that last bit of damage, it is officially no longer a Tumbleweed Rover. But it is not quite done yet.
Thank you for watching.